whatever happens, however you feel uh, not well, I think you will get up, get dressed and go to the work. And I think uh, th that's important. And I keep telling, it's not for boasting, I keep telling my staff, do we, have you seen ever complaining I have headache or I have fever or I have uh, body pain or I didn't sleep? I think why I this is because I'm working for myself and I'm working out of joy and I'm also working with joy. And the key ingredient for their career success is a generous helping or working hard, avoid any badly enough. And this way, in, in, when I came from uh, Shankar to Bombay Hospital, everything was chalta hai. So I used to tell the fellow, I had nothing, what do you mean by chalta hai? When I don't understand what you're talking about. Anything, don't worry, yeah. I said they didn't even put a name board for me when I came. They didn't put a, the only a room with a wash basin was there. I said, what do you do with this uh, practice? Uh, the green book was the other one. Okay. And go big on passion for action and forget that you are a talented worker and always add willingness to learn. So a generous helping of uh, working hard. If your work is applying your ability, then hard work is applying your ability with focus and intensity to the exclusion of other possibilities. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work, work hard. So I think only talent is not important because I know, actually I didn't know that I was a good, uh, I'd be a good veteran surgeon. And we worked, myself and Giridhar worked with our children Abraham, nothing to talk behind them, but I think he was such a short-tempered person and she also made uh, the scleral buckling surgery which he was an expert and he was an expert in indirect ophthalmoscopy in three mirror, but he made such a big, uh, I don't know, fuss or whatever word, or US terms, and made us all tense to do an indirect ophthalmoscopy during uh, scleral buckling surgery, and it was a nightmare for a system, and he used to do three for three hours, and I think the same surgery when I did as a consultant, my first surgery I did in half an hour, and I had a brother who asked me, do you think that it really open the conjunctiva and close? So I think it's not a question of only the talent, and I think uh, the hard work, and practicing again and again, I think makes you, and I think after achieving a status like that, why be tensed in operating? The so Swami Sinmananda, whom I met in 1977 when I was the college general secretary, he came, uh, I don't know who invited him, but he was there, and as being the student secretary, I had, uh, had to uh, be in the function. And one thing he told me, I thought, told all of us that time, he says, Everybody quotes Bhagavad Gita, and it's quoted in the book also. Thy business is action only, and not the uh, uh, inaction attached. That means, everybody says, do your duty, fruit is not yours. But uh, Krishna never said like that to Arjun. Krishna said, do your duty, but uh, you will get a fruit. But uh, what fruit you will get is what the Krishna desire, God desires, and not, uh, the, it is not that you don't get the fruit. So he says, so if you are so aiming at a one crore, uh, uh, profit and if you ask for only one crore, you may be deserving 10 crore. So why do you ask for what you want? You work and you will get it. So keep working and the way the way the Karmanetikari Mahapaleshu production they say is, it's not that you should not aim. So he taught me, taught all of us that time, that you aim sky high. So he said if you want to do PhD, if you want to do uh, BA, aim for PhD, uh, like PhD or MA. So he says that at least you will finish at FBA. But if you aim at BA, you may not even uh, finish SSLC that time, the 11th standard. So he always said, always have outstretching hands to work for it. That means aspire for high things. And that's why the book Magic of Thinking Big says, always hope for the high. Because the pune, I know uh, my own uh, godfather when I came from Chennai to Mumbai, I met the chairman who was a Tamilian, who only helped me and gave me the loan. And he started his career as a pun because he was only a necessary father. Means 11th passed that time, and then during the career he has finished his PhD and finally retired as the chairman Bank of India. So I think if it's not so immediate question anybody will ask, oh every pun can become a chairman or what? Why not? But the question is already everybody decided this is not this is what it's not for me. And I know my own uh, fellows, some fellows uh, uh, argue with me, sir, you are lucky. I said I don't believe the word luck because the destiny is created by you and not by luck. And I think uh, Dr. Varinath also mentions that 99% hard work, 1% inspiration. So uh, there is no question of luck. And I think uh, if you work hard and uh, yeah, I think uh, with a motive you will get it. And Paul Coyle also mentioned that and which is there in the movie Om Shanti Om. Where there are no desires from the there sits the master. And this is the best I like. If I rest, I rust. 
and I remember I, I, I can't remember because I can't take this. That's my problem. And uh, and I, you know it's uh, not a problem. I think I enjoy it. And whether it's Saturday, Sunday, I have a packed schedule all the time. And uh, even when I was on Sunday, on Sunday in uh, 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 even in Kochi, when uh, I would trouble Giridha to take me here, take me there, and he took me around. And we do that. I I, I never sit uh, any time idle. And uh, avoid any barrier. Enough. And I think this is an attitude uh, many of them have. I'm not talking about only doctors, but generally. And they have the determination to do extra and go the extra mile. And never accept badly enough of yourself and for yourself. So I can just uh, do, it's like uh, my anesthetist used to the beginning tell me, this looks, retina looks so bad, why the hell are you trying this? So why, if you leave it off, how can you uh, leave it? I think the whole thing is, if I know that, if I don't try, nobody is going to try. And so I always uh, do the best and whatever everybody says, cannot do it. And a child psychology, I do it. So all of us are ophthalmologists here, I hope. You know who is he, all of you. But I remember addressing, I don't know where it was, huh? it was Arvind. Hmm? Arvind. Arvind. Yeah, he's the founder of Arvind. No, I'm happy, I don't know, you know, where was I addressing? Of some knowledge. He was very shocking. Dr. Gaya, uh, he, Jeevan Rao told me that. Uh, huh? Last year, Dio. In the quiz. Terrible. They don't know. And they don't know about whether that. <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's the fresh post that is, I'm not talking about. First year postgraduate, and Dr. Jain Rao told me that. Now nobody knows me or Dr. Uh, Badinath or Dr. I mean, it's a sad situation. I hope the LDP will. It's, I think, we have to remember and invite and like Dr. LP Agrawal. And I think I always keep telling, I mean, I keep uh, troubling everybody. History of, history of, history of ophthalmology is uh, very important. Uh, not, uh, not important, not important. Any history is important because. I think at least after I am interested there and I met the best of the people uh, right from Robert McMahon, uh, whatever I found in Aetna from 70s I met all of them and I think uh, it's just by hard work and same time with the intention and I am so close to Dr. John White who has told me the history of Aruga and the custodies and the Harvey Link of I met him. So uh, what are, whoever the name you have attached to some procedure or something contribute to Aetna I met them and I know them by first name. So, um, and even Gopal used to be telling me, how can, how do you know all of them? I'm saying, even Morris Lander, the man who made the uh, Lander's lens. So, I always, uh, uh, like, uh, the idea is, I think, if you know what they did and how they did, it's like uh, how Thomas Alva Edison said, after the 999 times he failed, he found how not to do. Instead of saying, how God I failed, he said, I knew how not to do a bulb. And, 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 and so I think uh, lots to learn. So I, I and uh, Dr. Venkatesham is from South. He was born in a village called Vadamalapuram, and uh, it's near Tutukurin, which is near my native place. And uh, he actually was uh, born to uh, poor parents, where in his town uh, there was the highest mortality rate of pregnant women because during delivery the mother or the child or both were dying, and that's why. He wanted to be a doctor and you know, he wanted to be a gynecologist only to serve as Vadavanapuram uh, Tutukur industry. And because of his uh, illness, he had rheumatoid arthritis, I don't know how many of you know that. And during his medical, he joined the Indian Medical uh, Corps at that time, the army. And uh, because he felt sick, he was uh, discharged from the med med Indian Medical Army and then actually was admitted to Government General Hospital in Chennai for a year. And he had a break in his life and then he decided he didn't know what to do. He had developed the crippled hands by the time. His hands were like this, I don't know how many of you have shaken hands with him. And he knows me from my birth because my grand, he was my grandfather's uh, uh, junior. And he did his MS ophthalmology because he didn't know what to do. And then everybody said, if you want to work the least, you can go to ophthalmology. And that's how I think he took. And my father took ophthalmology because my grandfather forced him. But he opted to continue ophthalmology, he said, after one, you can sleep. <laughs> and that was ophthalmology. I'm not joking. I've seen that. And I have seen from five years of age, all ophthalmologists come and sleep. And many were practicing. My father was playing tennis. So, he was guided by a philosophy of Sri Aurobindo that taught the spirituality of service, driven by compassion, far beyond the ordinary, and backed by the support and assistance of those who believed in his vision. Dr. V said in the motion of this more than 30-year-old crusade against blindness and still continue to do so. And I think his greatest achievement, I used to ask him because it's impossible or uh, no, nothing is impossible, but